Well, time to say goodbye to the old system. It was a good system. The inverter was really reliable. Good. I, I was impressed with it. But it is just an inverter. That's all it is. Uh, about to rebuild a battery bank. So I can put four of these things instead of just two. All in this area. <laughs> put in some cement board to make it fireproof. As I'm putting in... A little bit more power here and doing a little bit more, making it a little bit safer. Got to rearrange a few things. Uh, one of the things I uh, have to figure out is this is probably not going to talk to my BMSs here. They didn't design it. I'm going to have to figure out how to do my settings that way uh, and go from there. I, For the time being, I think I'm just going to keep this hooked in, doing the charging for the batteries. I'll bump it up to 20 uh, eight volts it's got that capability and uh kind of go from there but a good system uh be glad to replace it get it with something twice the size and all and go from there well i'm getting there got my batteries out and these boys over here getting closer well, forgot to include a lot of stuff, but uh, uh, it hey back. It gotten a little further. Got my uh, cement board up and got it spackled a little bit and rearranging everything. And hopefully that is big enough to house four banks for these banks. Uh, this is two of them. I got two more in the other room. Hopefully that all goes, fits coming out, all four. It's going to be right to the edge, but that's going to be full. And then I'll put the new inverter. I'll put it up there. I've got a new box I'm putting in, and then I'm going to go ahead and you'll see. <laughs> I'll have to agree with the other YouTuber uh the cover screws oh my god they're tiny they are tiny 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 they're hard to get to and this is probably one of the most things you're going to be pulling off i can already tell i'm going to lose a few of these screws uh they need to they need to be bigger i'm going to need to access it a lot and i could tell i'm going to strip these things out somewhere down the line or lose them or something they, they ought to be bigger. That's a little. All right. Here's a good look on the inside. Looks like it's got everything. Sorry, I ain't got a professional camera. I'm just doing this on my own. Here's a look on the inside. It looks uh, as advertised. And uh, I'm about to start piddling around with it. All right, just to show you. It uh, looks like this is the uh, breaker for the uh, generator. This is to hook into the grid to power the batteries. And this is your load. These are your battery connects. They look pretty good and solid. Ah! I'm just kidding. <laughs> your uh, neutral and your ground. Oops, I guess I should. Your neutral and your ground. Uh, and... I put a resistance on that thing. And some of your communication ports and stuff. Looks like it's got it all. I guess I'll uh, start hooking it up. And hopefully, I still got all this other batteries and everything to hook in. So, still got a little ways. I tell you what, I bought this Feral Crimper. And uh, that's the biggest thing that came with the set. And I was thinking, there's no way an 8-gauge is going to fit in that thing. I thought it listed it at 12. When I got it on, it slid on really nicely. I don't know if you can see that. Really nicely and crimped down really good. So, this, these things can go up to about 8-gauge, and that's about as high as they're going to go. But uh, I'm impressed. I like that. I'm going to start doing that to all these A gauges. It'd be a lot better connection.
Just showing y'all uh, what I got here. This is the BMS I'm using. I use Overkill BMS. Uh, this is the uh, BMS I crimped on. Some new ends to it. But you end up connecting uh, 16 of these wires, uh, one to every cell, and that's set. Uh, so you got to strip the ends and everything. And just a kind of blue thing, hint, this little tool is a really nifty tool. It strips them and everything. It just it's a time saver when you got so many wires to strip. So I like it. It's a nice thing. Thought I'd uh, share that with you. I also use a headlamp, which is why you can see my shadow. Uh, just because I'm getting old and it's just easier to see stuff. It's always there, and what no matter what I'm looking at, it, it points in that direction. So I tend to like uh, using a headlamp while I'm doing all this. Well, I'm almost there. I had forgotten how much work it was hooking in a BMS to uh, to this thing and, and checking it out, making sure it's good. It's up and running. Uh, so the, I'll show you a shot of my what my cells are connected together like this. But uh, 16 leads, it's going on. All I got left is to tie it to the inverter. And turn it on and see if it works. Well, hello. And uh, I've got it all put together. Uh, this is not the finished product. Uh, this is just to fire this thing up uh, off of the batteries and see if it works. Uh, all I got to do is turn the breaker on and then actually turn the, uh, the uh, inverter on. So it's either going to blow up and killing me. And y'all will get to see this firsthand, or uh, just fry the inverter, and I'll lose a lot of work and time and patience. Uh, or hopefully it works. <laughs> I've got a uh, 54.4 volts right here, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the breaker. <gasps> it didn't work. What happened? Now I still gotta turn on the inverter. Now, the Wi-Fi thing would not plug in right. I had to loosen all four of those screws first to get it plugged in. I forgot about it before I turned it on. I still have the breaker on, so it's got 54.4 uh, volts or better plugged into it. Breaker's on. Now, the key, see if this thing fires up. I got to turn it on on the side here. So, hey. Here we go. I'm going to electrocute myself, die, blow up, or whatever. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I've got 54 volts there. I can read it on the meter. This thing's just not turning on. I guess that was something I wasn't anticipating, just not working at all. So that's what it appears to do. I've checked and double checked everything else. My BMS is working fine. Uh, I've got the volts up there. I've got my battery turned on. Hopefully it's just something a little really stupid. But uh, as of right now, it appears to me to not be powering up at all. That's a bummer.